Love is like a roller coaster, but I'm trying to hold on. I don't want it to stop. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I am making some baby blankets to add to my Etsy shop. These first three that I'm making are actual blankets that I'm sewing together. I'm sending them to a friend in Texas and then the rest towards the end of the video are just samples that I'm making for my shop. Um, I'll show you more on that later. But these blankets right here are the middle size that I offer. I offer three sizes, lovey, baby, and child size. These baby blankets are 26 by 34 inches when finished. And I always add one inch when I cut my fabric. So these pieces are actually 27 by 35 inches. And that gives me a half inch seam allowance on all sides. So I'm just using a regular pencil to um, outline my measurements and I'm just going along my ruler and you'll see right here I always double check it with my measuring tape. I learned from my <laughs> construction working husband to always measure twice, cut once. So. I measure it first with my ruler and then once I have my lines, I double check it with the measuring tape before I take my scissors to my fabric. And I was gonna use this baseball fabric for one of the blankets. Um, you can see me do the lines right here, but I actually ended up going with another dinosaur fabric. So when I show you all of the finished products at the end, you'll see there's two different dinosaur fabrics in the firefighter fabric and not this baseball one. So I just wanted to mention that so you guys didn't get confused. When everything is wrong, I'm trying to find a way to get you on my head. And here I'm just getting all of the minky dots ready to be embroidered. There are um, obviously three different blankets, so three different names going on each. So I'm just matching my threads and then I'm going to get all three embroidered. And so for my fabric, I float it on top of my five by seven embroidery hoop, um, just with regular basting spray. And then I use this water soluble stabilizer on top and that just helps the threads um, stay down and not get lost in the long hairs of the minky fabric.
And yes, right here, I am watching Sister Sister on Hulu. This was one of my absolute favorite shows as a kid, and I am so excited that I found it on Hulu. I have been binge watching it, and it is the perfect show to watch while I work. I love it. As you can see, it is now the next morning. I did not get to finish the blankets last night, but I really wanted to finish them today so that I could get them sent to my friend in Texas. So I am doing a row of pins on the outer edge of the fabric, and then I will go ahead and do a second row of pins, and then I will even add a third pin here or there just to keep it really secure. You can never have too many pins, and I will even angle them and put them in the corners as well. And using my half inch seam allowance, I will sew all the way around the blanket, but I will stop about six inches before where I started and then backstitch. And then that will be the place where I pull it um, right side out. Oh, the good times just begun. Oh, we know what we have. Let's hold on tight. Found what we're looking for in life. And now that I have the blanket pulled all the way out, I am just taking a pair of scissors. You can use like the end of a pen or, or anything that has kind of a, a point that won't go all the way through to push the corners of my blanket out. And then I am pinning my opening closed and then I will top stitch all the way around. Before I sleep, hear the cricket, see the moon, side by side and through and through. And now I'm just going to repeat the same process for the next two blankets.
here they are all finished. I think they turned out super adorable. I am really happy with the thread colors that I chose and I can't wait to hear from my friend and what her kids think and I just really hope that they love them. Here is a bunch of flannel fabric that I have and I took a small strip of the Minky Dot fabric and I embroidered a name on it and what I'm going to do is I'm going to make my blanket mock-ups if you will and this is so that I don't have to actually make and sew a whole blanket together. Um, as you can see I still have to take the water soluble stabilizer off and cut the threads and everything but I just wanted to show you what I had for now. So here's how my pictures turned out. I think they turned out very well. I actually got this idea from Nita over on her channel, Nita Fajita. I thought this was an absolutely genius idea and such a great way to make product samples without having to have the order first. So now when I get an order, I will take good product photos of the actual blanket and put those in my listing instead. So, so that is going to be it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I will see you guys next time.